Hello YouTubers, this is Chris at Folly Modelling. We're now going to start some painting on the Airfix de Havilland Mosquito. Now for this I'm going to try out some, some oil paints. It's a fairly basic camouflage scheme on this Mosquito, but as with any model you can't be deceived like that. Just because it looks easy doesn't mean to say it, it will be easy. Results are often uh, quite hard won sometimes. But to the the eyes of the uh, the passerby, that would go unnoticed. So what we're going to use here are some oil paints. Now the reason I've chosen some oil paints is due to their blending qualities. They blend in a far superior fashion to uh, acrylics. However, oil paint that's not something that's used on model kits to a great extent at all really. I think that's mainly due to confusion over its uh, well, the drying properties because oil takes a long time to dry. Also, what you can and cannot paint oil, oil on. Now what you cannot do is paint oil straight onto an unprimed plastic surface because it will eventually just peel off because due to the properties of oil paint the resins take a long time to dry in it you've got to sand you've got sorry you've got to prime and sand the surface very lightly with acrylic so then you've got a lightly sanded surface and it must have an acrylic base you can't do it the other way around you can't paint acrylic on top of oil it's got to be oil on top of acrylic Okay, I hope that uh, clears a few things up. Right, let's get on with a little, a little practice and demonstration. See what we come out with. Right, so seeing as we've run out of a dark green, which is more in keeping with the darker camouflage green, I'm going to use a regular a Windsor and Newton light green. But I'm going to have to make my own green. So I'm going to combine that with a darker umber or a darker brown colour, also in oil. That's all we do. Can't stress, you need very tiny amounts of the oil paint. It's very tiny amounts. Because anyone who's used oil paints will know this stuff literally takes on a life of its own. So it's a small amount of, it's basically for this colour, it's kind of 50 foot, sorry, are you 50 50 really. If it's too dark, you can just add a little or subtract a little. You can just basically experiment till you get the right, the right tonal variation that you're satisfied with. So we'll just take a brush then. Brown. You can see that. And just mix that fairly rapidly. Just keep adding a little bit more brown until you're happy. Now that's far more in keeping with uh, the camouflage green. You probably can't see that. Let me show you. So that's far more in keeping with uh, camouflage green there. So like I say, you mix that to your own or to the paint charts as near as, near as possible to the paint chart colour. And then you can always test it out on a spare piece of card or plastic. You do want a very thin glaze at first with this. A very thin amount. So if we just lightly sketch out. Just basically sketch out the pattern. You can always tidy it up later. Then you literally, very lightly,
just scrub away We're going to take some of this off. Just keep working away. Now what we're going to do, we're going to try and... We're going to feather away the edges so they don't look linear. We don't want them too linear, we want them to sort of literally fade, fade, fade away a bit, more akin to an airbrush. Right, we're now going to take a little bit of, some, some, sorry, we're going to remove some small amounts of, of the oil paint where it's thick. So to do that, just lightly brush that off like that. Lightly brush it away. <clears throat> Just get a little piece of tissue or something and take the excess off your brush. I mean, use the size brush you're comfortable with for this anyway. It doesn't have to be a specific size brush. It's the one you know that you're good, that you're adept with, that you're good at using. Some people are better with larger brushes and they can paint quite well detailed or just with smaller ones. But, so we just do the same along basic pattern until you get it to your own satisfaction. Now I'm actually going to put some more some more grey in over this. I mean I'm doing this fairly roughly just to demonstrate but You know now <clears throat> I'll show you now how it's more like blended into the the wing. Bit of shadow there. I think that's better. So that's that's the general idea anyway. It'll take it takes a little bit of work, you know. You've got to practice with this. It takes some work to But don't be scared of the model. Don't be scared of messing the model up too much. You can always gently remove this with tissue. You don't want to use heavy solvents of it though because then you're going to take up the... the paint layers underneath. Because if you sort of literally feather it, feather it like that, Gradually, gently take. So you're basically putting putting paint on, and then you're removing it again. And here's the result. So I think we've got a fairly satisfactory result there. It does need more work. I mean, that's not the final, the finished result. So there's more work to do. But I think you'll agree, it's a fairly reasonable attempt and it does give a pretty good impression of uh, camouflage. Well, there's more experimenting to be done with this. But thanks for watching and happy modelling.